Ladies, I want you to know that it's a total myth that your sex life will become non-existent during and after menopause. I'm here to tell you that it is absolutely possible to increase your desire, get more arousal, and even climax during sex at this stage of your life. And yet, the dreaded symptoms that come with menopause, like vaginal dryness and lack of sex drive, are all too real, but it doesn't have to be that way. I have dedicated approximately a third of my life doing research about sexual health, and it is my calling to serve and share this knowledge. So for the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how you too can restore your sexual relationship and get passion back on track. Even if you're struggling right now in your life and your relationship, or you have the most libido killing symptoms of hormone imbalance. Hello there, I'm Dr. Anna Kaveka, a gynecologist and obstetrician and women's health expert with over 20 years of experience. Let's start by explaining what happens to our body near and after menopause that affects our libido and risks destroying our sexual intimacy. Well, during the menopausal transition, falling levels of the hormone estrogen can reduce desire in women. Estrogen is the hormone that promotes the health of our reproductive organs and keeps the vagina moisturized and elastic. But it doesn't do this alone. Progesterone, testosterone, and DHEA have also been declining during this time. These hormones also play important roles in our libido and our sexual health. They work together along with our neurotransmitters in the body to regulate cell activity and sexual function. These imbalances can absolutely cause what we call sexual dysfunction. That's not only physical, but physiological. So that means your emotions and relationships are affected as well. This hormonal decline can also mean a drop in blood supply to the vagina, which can affect vaginal lubrication and make it dry and uncomfortable during sex. So you can see that it is not only an estrogen problem. We can experience other discomforts like urinary tract infections, incontinence, and even pain when wiping due to the thinness and sensitivity of the vulva and surrounding tissues. And you know what this means when it comes to your sex life. Discomfort, climaxing will be difficult or non-existent, and even your confidence can be shaken, as well as your relationship can slip into a sexual plateau. But seriously, if you've had discomfort every time you did something, why would you want to continue doing it, right? And that goes with sex too. So what can you do to get your sex life back? I have three strong tips for you today. Tip number one is to keep those pelvic floor muscles strong. And this means Kegel exercises, pelvic floor exercises. Now there are right ways and wrong ways to do them. And I teach this on my website and have a great video. So you can hop on over to drannacabeca.com to watch that as I won't go into detailed instructions on this video right now. Tip number two is to start nourishing your feminine parts regularly. Ladies, we worry about the wrinkles around our eyes and around our mouth and we use natural ingredients ideally, right? We have to take that same care with our feminine parts. Now, there are many lubricants available out there that are full of chemicals and actually can do more harm than good. So when taking care of our delicate feminine parts to nourish and strengthen these tissues involved that we really need for the rest of our life, right? Not just to look good, but to work well. We want to choose things that are natural and free of chemicals. So I have a few natural options that I really want to share with you today. My absolute favorite lubricant is coconut oil. It's one of the oldest natural lubricants that has been used for well over centuries. It contains healthy fatty acids and lauric acid, which have antifungal and antibacterial properties to nourish and repair damaged cells. In addition, I like to combine fractionated coconut oil, which is coconut oil, which is liquid at room temperature, with an aloe vera gel, because as we get older, that also soothes irritated tissues. Combine that with your favorite essential oil into a fantastic moisturizing lubricant, and you can use it anytime, as well as part of foreplay. I want you to get acquainted with the hormone DHEA. As I explained before, Hormonal imbalance is usually the main culprit for most of the symptoms that are sabotaging our sex life. So you absolutely need to start balancing the levels of hormones in your body. Now let me share with you the story of one of my clients named Kathy. Kathy went through menopause in her early 50s and had significant vaginal dryness along with other menopausal symptoms. 
She was in a loving, sexually healthy relationship and was desperate to keep the fires going. During her medical consultation, she was first prescribed Provera, which is a progestin, which is a common hormone used to replace lower levels of progesterone, but it is not bioidentical. Now, she had great concerns about being on hormones for a long time, though. She was planning on staying sexually active, but she didn't really want to spend the next 30 or 40 years taking hormones. So she took that for a while and then went off it completely. Good thing, because it's a synthetic progesterone and we don't want that anyway. But then she started having some urinary tract infections. And then her doctor prescribed estriol, which is a safe estrogen that you can use vaginally by prescription and that can help with some of the reasons of vaginal dryness. However, estrogen only works on the mucosal layer of the vagina. It doesn't work all the way down to the deeper levels like DHEA or testosterone does when used vaginally. She also didn't like being on an estrogen even though it's a very safe one. And so she went off it completely. And she started trying other products for lubrication as she continued to desire intimacy, but was struggling with dryness and discomfort before, during, and after. So she came across one of my blogs and started my cream called Jolva, which has DHEA in it. DHEA is one of our hormones that originate really in the adrenal glands and also the ovaries in women and testes and men's. It's a precursor to testosterone and estrogens. As estrogen levels naturally decrease, DHEA becomes the remaining source of estrogens and androgens in your body. However, DHEA levels do start to decrease in our 20s and 30s, and we've lost an average 60% of it by menopause. It can, however, be introduced and utilized by the body. Now, there's even more emerging research on the benefits of locally applied DHEA in treating vaginal dryness and pain during intercourse, improved libido and orgasm, and even improvements in urinary leakage. That's really good news. Along with other physicians, I've been prescribing DHEA for decades with much positive results. In fact, Kathy, who I mentioned earlier, has continued to use Jolva since it has come out, and she's been a big fan, and her husband is too. In her own words, she states, I'm still sexually active. I'm having sex at least once a week, even at age 71, and it's been great there. I think it makes it easier for women to become aroused, easier to reach orgasm. It's wonderful, it's really wonderful to be able to enjoy sex as much as I do at this age, to know that there's no reason why that can't continue. With all of us living longer, I think that's pretty great. So as an inspiration, one other thing Kathy told me was that sex once a week for her was just part of that intimacy and connection, whether you have intercourse or not, because having bonding, even a back rub, just makes a difference and keeps you together happier and longer. So those are three things that you can actually do to help with sexual health and also to avoid a sexless marriage or repair it because that intimacy, that drive, and take away those negative side effects of having the discomfort when you're trying to be intimate with the person you've loved and chosen for your life. So number one, find out more about DHEA. Number two, use natural moisturizers that are healthy and nourishing to your body, like coconut oil, one of my favorites. Add in some aloe vera gel and your favorite essential oil, fabulous lubricant too, okay. And number three, do those pelvic floor exercises until we die. And remember the words of Kathy, which I think are just, just so powerful, is that at age 71, she continues to have sex once a week and is just living a great life. And I'm very glad to be able to share her story with you as well. So if you'd like more information, please visit me on my website at drannacabeca.com where I like to share tips and hear your comments and questions. Please share this message if it's helped you. So I want to make you a special offer. I want to offer you seven nights of Jolva completely free. Just pay for shipping and it's yours. 